Welcome to my channel, learn German with me. In this video, we are going to see how to introduce yourself to others. So, we're gonna see the official ways and unofficial ways. So, to start with, I'm introducing my name to you, which is me. So, I would say, like you say, formally, that ich heiße meat. So, ich heiße meat. That means I am known as meat. So, it means I am known as meat. So, this is the official way which you can use to elder people and respectable people like principals and uh, prime ministers. And then we have two unofficial ways which are ich bin meat. So, ich means I, bin is, uh, am, am, it is am. So, I am meat. Then, then the third way is, meine Name is meat. So, this means, my name is meat. So, these are the three ways to introduce your name to others. And there's also one way that uh, if someone asks your name at first, you can also say if he's uh, if he's like same to age, we we can say like if he's same to your age, then we can say uh, like my name is which is my name is undine like my name is meet undine so this contains the both like my name is and what is your name. Okay, now uh, there are also ways you can ask people uh, their name. So the first way is, is an of, of course the official way. There are two ways, the official way and the unofficial way. These both uh, ways of asking name are quite similar to each other. Uh, they just have one more change. The first one, of course, which is official is V heißt heißen Z. So, who are you? Uh, I know in English it is a bit rude, like asking who are you, but in Germany it's not rude. It, like, it also matters that how you ask to them. If you ask like, we has you, we has you, it is going to give the person in front of us a negative impact. And if we ask him, we has you, in a positive tone, so it, it is going to give them a positive impact. Now we have the informal way which we use for people who is at our age and is smaller or smaller at or equal to our age. So we can say we have to do. Do means you. It is directly to a smaller group of people. So we have to. We have to. So, in the first way, which is Z, we use the S as a capital because Z is used for elderly people. Now, we come to our third part. Or, uh, really, when this is important when you are like meeting them solo, but if you meet someone in a party or in occasion, then you can directly like shake hands with him, like, uh, well, like, uh, I meet and the person in front of is unknown that I would like say take my hand take his hand would shake hands and I would say meet and he would say his name for example I'm Brian so you'd say Brian I would say my name directly no need to use the words now there are some alternatives to we can which we can replace the words given below upper words which are told in the upper part now the alternatives are meine name ist ist is the word we can use this ist and then ich bin directly and then ich bin someone what whatever your name is and then uh, for the elder person respectable person where sind sie where sind sie it is the formal way where sind sie and then verb is which verb is to verb is to is the informal form of asking who are you uh, and uh, there's also one more alternative 
to ask your name like wie ist ihre name ihre name it is i h r ihre name it is the normal way of speaking it and it is goes used in german now a fun fact for you the homework now in the homework i would like to uh, i would like to give you assignment that go in the comment comment box and just type in how you would like to greet me like you want to use uh my name is or whatever in the video or you can directly you can use anything you want that's it for today's video hope you liked it bye have a nice day